Now, which of the following is not correct about RBI's revised prudential framework for a resolution of stressed asset? This is also a very important current affair. Keep this in mind. UPSC used to give more importance to money and banking current affair, money and banking and external affairs current affair. So, this is another current affair regarding RBI's revised framework. So, before having solving this question, just have an idea. What is this R based? So, you know that stressed asset, okay? So, are any asset which is showing a sign of stressed NPA is also included under stressed asset, okay? So, R may have come up in, in February 2018. In February 2018, R may have come with a, a circular on prudential framework for resolution of stressed assets, but there, in the February 2018. Uh, framework on uh, resolution for stressed asset had many stringent provisions. So, in June 2019, RBI have amended, it is due to the Supreme Court intervention, but anyway, in June 2019, this February 2018 framework was revised. After the revision, the new, what this revised framework says that is that, it says that, it says that this revised framework will be applicable to all borrowers. All borrowers with exposure of 2000 crore and above will be part of this revised framework for resolution of stressed assets and it is applicable to all banks, financial institutions like uh, NABAD, Exim Bank, SIDB. It is also applicable to small finance bank and NBFC with immediate effect that is from June 2019 onwards. Okay, And central bank also have made it voluntary for lenders to use the IBC. Okay, so central bank also have made an option. It is from it has made voluntary for lenders to use the IBC. Okay, so it has given the uh, bank an option. Okay, voluntary for lenders to use the IBC. Okay, so this is one of the provision to note down. Central bank has made it voluntary. Vol means lenders can themselves decide whether to use the IBC or not. Then another is that. For implementing a resolution plan, okay, for implementing a resolution plan, after the revised framework, it says that all lenders have required to enter into an intercreditor agreement. Intercreditor agreement was a prelims question, okay. So, intercreditor agreement is between all the lenders, okay. So, all lenders have to, it's compulsory have to enter into an intercreditor agreement between all the lenders. And also, it said that if the central bank has put penal provision, if resolution plans are not implemented, see, after a resolution plan has been decided by the uh, under the intercreditor agreement or uh, under the com by the committee of creditors and if it is not implemented properly then RBI will impose penal provision on all lenders and it said that okay lender have to set aside 20 percentage more provision if the plan is not implemented if the resolution plan is not implemented within 210 days this is a very 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 important point okay within 220 days after the see if the resolution plan have been passed and if it is not implemented within 220 days from the date of default the provisioning is 20 percentage and if it extends if it is not implemented within 365 days of default provision will increase to 35 percentage of the amount of default okay so provisioning is nothing but setting aside the capital to deal with that non-performing asset okay so this is a very important point if the resolution plan is not implemented within 210 days uh, 20 percentage have to be set aside for provisioning if it is not done within 365 days of default 35 percent provisioning has to be done okay very important point to note down then another another point is that all decisions under the intercredit agreement okay all decisions made by the lenders under the intercredit agreement when made if the consent okay when the, with the consent of 75 percentage by value 75 percentage by value of the total outstanding credit see this is very 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 important uh, uh, point okay all decisions under the cre in the credit agreement with when made with the consent of 75 percentage by value of the total credit and 60 percentage of lenders by number so 75 percentage by value that is the amount and 60 percentage by lenders by number wise if will be binding so if there is a consensus if there is if 75 percentage of the lenders lenders means those who have given loan by terms of value for example 
100 crore is the, for example, 100 crore is the value. So it means 75 percentage means lend those lenders combined together who is who has given loan up to 75 crore. And if it is number wise, if 10 lenders are there, if 60 percent means if six lenders out of 10 lenders by number, if six one six lenders are approving this decisions in the intercredit agreement, then it will be binding on all other lenders. Those who are not agreeing with the, uh, with this decision also have to implement this intercreditor agreement decisions taken in the intercreditor agreement. So, 75 percentage by value, 60 percentage by number, if it is made, if the decision is made in the intercreditor agreement, then it become binding on all the lender. Another very, very, very important point. Okay. And <clears throat> initially, initially, that, that is the 2018 February circular on this revised framework may have mandated agreement of all lenders for the resolution. So initially, it was mandatory for all lenders to approve for the resolution plan. But now, in the revised framework in June 2019, instead of all lenders have to approve the resolution plan, it is 75 percentage by value and 60 percentage by 60 percentage by number. So, this is a very important current affair. Now, we will try to solve the question. Okay. So, norms are this revised framework is uh, applicable for banks, yes, NBFCs as well as small finance bank. So, statement A is correct, but the question is which of the following is not correct. Then, if lenders given, the lenders was given the choice to initiate legal proceedings for insolvency or recovery, yes, this statement is also a correct statement because lenders have been given a ch uh, choice. They have been, it is now voluntary for them to initiate legal proceedings. So, that is also a correct statement, but we have to find out not correct, strong statement. Now, agreement of all lenders is required on the resolution plan. So, this is, this is the wrong statement. Okay, this statement is wrong and that will be our correct. They are asking for not correct because now, agreement of all lenders is not required on the resolution plan. Earlier in the February 2018 circular, agreement of all lenders is required on the resolution plan. Now, it is 75 percentage by value and 60 percentage by number is required. So, C is the wrong statement and that is your answer. They are asking for not correct statement. And regarding D, we know that central bank has put in penal provision for resolution plan that are not implemented. So, A, B and D are correct statements. C is the wrong uh, statement and that is will become our answer.